Hello and welcome back to another video. So this may come off as being a bit random and disjointed, but essentially there are a few new models that came out with the most recent beta build, and then also the login screen for Warlords of Draenor, so I thought it just would make sense to cover all of them in one video. And surprise surprise, this is that video. Let's start off with the Azeroth choppers first though. Now this is the Horde bike. I thought that this was the clear winner in the actual competition, and I've got to say, the in-game model absolutely does not disappoint. This thing's just... Well, it's, it's metal. You know, it's, it's very metal -y. It's got, you know, the two big tusks and everything. And overall, I think Blizzard have just absolutely nailed it in terms of this. I love the kind of aging that's went on in the tusks. I think that tire just... The song about it, you know, the, the kind of cartoonish wow feel has just been really well integrated into the real-world bike. And I think that's just made a fantastic model, honestly. And really, it's it's also nice to have a chopper that is a, in terms of fidelity, a step above what they were doing with the old choppers from Northrend. So absolutely, this is very good. I'm just trying to think of other things that I think are pretty cool. Um, where is it? Actually, no, I think it, no, no, there's, a, I think, like, a bit of um, Pantaren writing on, on the Alliance bike, which is pretty cool. But yeah, you got your two shoulder pads here, your two blades here. They've got the whole, um, like, chain link handlebar thingy majiggy going on so that's pretty cool and yeah overall great and two nice big old exhaust vents at the back so fantastic let's move on no not exhaust vents exhaust but i'm an idiot anyway next it's alliance time so guess what this looks better than the actual alliance bike in my opinion why well the metal here is less shiny it just looks more sort of beaten in i guess it it looks kind of oxidized if you know what i mean um, I think it looks way better, actually. The problem with the old one is, I just think it was too scaly and too Nairobian. Now, part of that whole Nairobian thing is, like, someone mentioned it on the show, where it certainly did, I think, kickstart the idea a bit. But, frankly, before he said that, I thought it looked like an just insectoid carapace. So, yeah, I'm very glad that they have just made it feel a little bit different here. I just think it's the way that, you know, the, the natural sort of transition from shiny metal to in-game texture. They've definitely done a good job with that. From the front, I'd say, you know, there's a thing that a lot of bikers do in real life. They, they you know, they have a, a cover for their bikes so that things like, say, your thingy, your like your big crest at the front getting sun bleached don't happen. So look at it, it's really washed out. It's like it's been sitting in the sun for a month or two. So that's a bit strange. I would like it if that was more vibrant. Got two big old cleaver things. You see, here's... Are they... They kind of look like scimitars to me. And that's not particularly alliance themed. So, that's a thing. Also, of course, double tank treads for this guy. Which, oddly enough, works. Though, I will admit I do prefer the nice big, you know, front tire that's going on with the horde bike. Also, we got a bit of pandaren detailing here. We got a gnomish cog. Then on the other side, we've got... I guess that's just sort of humanish looking. You've even got nice little details here, like the um, the chain and stuff. So overall, really cool bike. Now the horde bike is going to be given to all horde players who I think it's or to all players even who log in between now and like the 29th of September. However, it's only available on horde characters. But if you log into your alliance character, well, if you make a horde character, then you'll get this bike in the mail. But you won't be able to use this on the alliance site. It's horde only. As for the Alliance bike, well, they lost the competition, so they don't get it for free. This is going to cost 100,000 gold. Now, this does mean it's going to be a lot more rare, and instead of everyone just whipping out their Horde chopper, if you have the Alliance chopper, it's going to be more of a unique and special thing. So it's funny that in losing the Warcraft choppers, or Azeroth choppers um, competition, the Alliance bikes actually got more in-game prestige, because it means you are a relatively rich bastard if you have one. Well, not anymore, I suppose. So anyway, yep, that's pretty cool. Next, we are going to move on to the Cinder, not kitten, dog. This is a corgi. Basically, you're going to get this from the World of Warcraft 10th anniversary event. So that's pretty cool. I think this is a... It, like, they're little corgi models. Very cute, isn't it? So, hurrah. Well done, Blizzard. Though I would not try to pet this thing because... More than likely, your skin would just melt and get stuck to it, and then it'd be very bad. It'd be very painful, and then he'd probably just try to nibble you or something, and that would be even worse. So yeah, despite his cute looks, this guy is pain. Okay, next we have the Space Goat. 
And we're hopping over to MMO Champion for this. By the way, props to both MMO Champion and Wowhead for their respective model viewers. They're very helpful. So, yep, this is a space goat. It's even got, you know, the little drain eye tails going on. And, yeah, that's a thing. So, yay! Alright then, well, with all these models I'm um, looked at, we're just going to jump over to the new start screen. Okay then, so, boom! <laughs> That's actually great timing, uh, right with the animation. Yep, this is at least the tentative login screen for Warlords of Draenor. You've got the Dark Portal chilling out here, our two Guardian guys all sort of, you know, ready to go. We've got this, which appears to be some sort of, like, fell energy stuff. It's sort of similar to the spirity style thing that Blizzard use, and of course, what's going on is behind these two pillars are Terran Gore and Shogal, and then underneath the Dark Portal, that's where they actually have Gul'dan all like chained up and they're sucking some sort of energy out of him. Um, yeah, that of course doesn't last for long, but you guys have all seen that. So yep, yeah, new login screen. Of course, if you look in the sky area here, you see the lovely sky of Draenor with its two moons. All in all, looking really cool. One thing, though, is... I mean, if the Iron Horde were, were gonna rebuild, or I suppose build their own Dark Portal, do they really have to go so over the top? I mean, honestly, the chances are the Azeroth invasion was delayed by months while they waited for this thing to be complete. You know, does it even need to be this tall? I suppose they need to bring their Gron in. But do they really need to do these two statues? And, on that point, are the... What, what? Are these statues even relevant to the Iron Horde? I don't know. Random thoughts appeared in my head, but you know what? The two statues are badass, the login screen's pretty cool, and overall, I am rather pleased with it. And I also just love the red swirly effect that's going on, and I kind of see what they've done here, in that, you know, the, the portal itself is your entryway to Draenor, and, well, so is your account information, then you hit login, you kind of, you know, go through the portal, if you know what I mean. So, that's cool. Anyway, well done, Blizzard, and... That's it for this bizarrely disjointed video about random things that I thought were shiny and cool and awesome. So I hope you enjoyed the cool shiny awesome things. Thank you very much for listening. If you want to let me know what you think about said cool shiny awesome things, be sure to do that. But that's it for me. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you next time.